All right, let's read about this company. Cadence is a leader in electronic system design, building upon more than 30 years of computational software expertise. We apply our underlying intelligent system design strategy to deliver computational software, hardware, okay, and IT. I didn't know they made hardware. Let's see. That turn design concepts into reality. Our customers include some of the world's most innovative companies that deliver extraordinary electronic products from chips to boards to systems for dynamic market applications. We enable our customers to develop electronic products. Our products and services are designed to give our customers a competitive edge in their development of integrated circuits, system on, systems on chip, and increasingly sophisticated electronic devices and systems. Our products and services do this by optimizing performance, minimizing power consumption, shortening the time to bring our customers' products to market, improving engineering productivity, and reducing their design, development, and manufacturing costs. Our electronic systems customers deliver entire devices, such as smartphones, laptop computers, gaming systems, automobiles, autonomous driving systems, servers, cloud data center infrastructure, AI systems, aerospace and defense, medical equipment and networking products. Let's see what else. All right, let's see. In order to make customers or make our customers successful, our products must handle this expo exponential growth and complexity without requiring a corresponding increase in our customers' costs. Historically, the industry that provided the tools used by IC engineers was referred to EDA, Electronic Design Automation. Today, our um, offerings include and extend beyond EDA to enable computational software for ISD across th three layers as illustrated. Low, starting with IC and SOC design excellence, followed by system innovation, innovation, and then pervasive intelligence. A lot of buzzwords here. All right, Cadence Intelligent System Design Strategy, enabling end-to-end -end systems from devices to the cloud. Here are the verticals: consumer hyperscale, mobile, communications, automotive, VR, defense, industrial, healthcare. Design intel excellence, it looks like an IC. System innovation, looks like a car of some kind. Pervasive intelligence, I don't know what the fuck that is. All right, machine learning technology and artificial intelligence enablement, I guess that's like a neural network or something. Um, Multi-level, multi-physics, and computational fluid dynamics. Well, maybe I'll jot that down. I don't know what multi-physics means, but whatever. Computational fluid dynamics, I kind of understand what that is. IC, high speed, radio frequency design and analysis, system and embedded software. What's up? Thanks, Tyrone. Tyrone? Tyrone? Sorry, I'm just getting all these texts. I have some beautiful women who want to chit chat. I have to tell them, no, I'm busy. All right. All right, 
these tools, IP and associate services, are specifically designed to meet the growing requirements of engineers designing increasingly complex chips across digital, analog, and mixed signal domains, and perform the associated verification tax tasks, including validation of the low-level software running on a silicon model, thereby enabling design teams to manage complexity and verification throughput without commensurately increasing team size or extending the project schedule while reducing technical risk. The second layer of our strategy centers around system innovation, includes tools and services used for system design of the packages that encapsulate the ICs and PCBs, system simulation, which includes electromagnetic, electrothermal, and other multi-physics analysis. I think this is probably what they're talking about here, electromagnetic, electrothermal, and other multi-physics analysis necessary as part of optimizing the system's performance, radio frequency, microwave systems, and embedded software. Third layer of our strategy addresses pervasive intelligence in new electronics. It starts with providing solutions and services to enable the AI enhanced systems and includes machine learning and deep learning capabilities being added to the Cadence technology portfolio to make IP and tools more automated and to produce optimized results faster. Our software and emulation products also support cloud access to address the growing computational needs of our customers. E4, C5, Knight of 3, E6, Sicilian Defense. Really interesting um, that you know this company. All right, um, com computational fluid dynamics, they acquired this company called Namika, Namika, a leader in, in CFD technology, that's computational fluid dynamics, and point-wise. Fanta. I'm just looking at a software company called Cadence. They also have some ex, uh, also have some um, some some code up here. Maybe we can switch to that. Um, do you know much uh, Python, Fanta? Yeah, I had a little investing club in in uh, prison. I had two, actually. Cool. All right. Yeah, I don't know why the CEO left. It's a good question. balance sheet real quick and then we'll go to some programming looks like two billion in three billion in revenue the company's worth 52 billion unbelievable that is unbelievable he was at magma before which somebody mentioned i think it was e4 who mentioned magma design automation Look at some financials. Well, they're growing like a weed. They had two billion in revenue just a couple years ago, so now they have three. It won't be long before they have four if they don't already. And I think the profitability is quite good. Look at the stock though. It's gone in just six years, it's been a seven X. Woo! Holy moly.
custom IC design. So what we were doing a minute ago, or a couple, couple, uh, couple of episodes ago, maybe is the best way to put it, is we were making an actual Bitcoin, just our own Bitcoin library for fun in Python. continue to work on that. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, Cadence is bigger than, slightly bigger than Atlassian and a little bit bigger than Autodesk. Really big company, really successful. Part of the reason is look at the profits. Um, around a billion in profits, a little under a billion in profits, so probably around a billion in cash flow. As I predicted. So call it fifty times, forty-five times earnings, which is about fair given the given the massive growth. Really cool. 